Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Athena and today I have a whole bunch of Lululemon bikinis to try on for you. I am so excited. So I have, I want to say three to four different styles just because I got two different styles in the same color. I never really tried on their bikinis. I was kind of like iffy about it. I don't really like the sporty look. I'm super into like the triangle ones. If you've seen my other bikini videos, I'm super into those. And so I took a chance on them. I found some on sale. I did get, I want to say all of them were usually $68 and I did get, an, uh, I did end up getting them for $39. So if you take a look on their sale section, they usually do tend to put the bikinis on sale, especially since it's kind of getting towards the end of the summer. And just for reference, I am usually a size six in their clothing and bras. I usually am a size eight. And for reference, I am 5'7 and usually about 155 pounds. So I'm super excited to get into it. I'll show you guys. Okay, and so the first set I got is this bottom piece with this top. The bottoms are the waterside mid-rise medium, I mean, I think it's medium coverage, Seer Seeker, and this is the matching top. I got these in the color Ocean Air. Like I said, each part is $68 but on sale it was 39. So I did get the set. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on. They do come with the removable cupping pads. I did take them out just because I'm a big hater of the cupping. I just don't like it. I'd rather just not have it, especially with a bathing suit. And I did get a size small in the top and a size medium in the bottoms. So I'll show you guys what they look on. Okay, and so this is how they fit on in the light blue color called Ocean Air. I think they're super comfortable, honestly. They're full coverage. The back has like this cute kind of detailing that did give me a little bit of an awkward suntan, but totally up to you if, you know, you don't mind it. These are definitely a mid-rise and they do have kind of like the tie. Oh no, they don't. Oh my gosh. I thought they had like the tie bottom. So I definitely wouldn't size up in these, but if I did size down, I think it would just be so unflattering and just so uncomfortable. These do have kind of like a ribbing detail, which I don't mind, but... It might be annoying for other people, especially if we're trying to mix match some of them. But overall, I do really like these and I have worn them to the beach and I've had no slip ups. I think they've held me in really well. And when I was playing volleyball or doing any like actual physical activities, I think it gave me a good sense of like feeling covered up. The shoulders do have adjustable straps, which I was also a big fan of. Okay, and so the second one I have is the same top, but in black. So it does have the ribbing feature. I have worn this one as well, and I was a big fan. It does have, you know, this um, adjustable strap and the removable pads. I did get a size small, just like I did in this one. And for the bottoms, I got two separate different bottoms. I have the waterside medium rise, medium bottom seer sucker, which is the same one of the blue one. They were originally $68. I did get a size medium, just like the other one. And I'm gonna try these on. I just get them in the mail. They do come with the, you know, sanitary pad, which I'm a big fan of, you know, just so you know it's not used. And for the bottoms, I did get the high rise waterside medium rise as well. Again, $68, full coverage bottoms in a size medium. These were also $68. I have worn these as well, but I'll just show you guys how I feel about them. But I'm not the biggest fan. I like the mid-rise better just because I feel like the high-rise just like I had to pull them down constantly or it was just super big on the top when I did get in the water unlike these that like really helped me in okay and so this is the how the top looks with the high-rise bottoms like I said I'm not a big fan the bottom the back does have that same background detailing which I do like the top is super supportive and the bottoms do feel comfortable when I I'm not in water like right now I can definitely feel that the bottom part is kind of a little loose like where the kind of like my backside is and when I get in the water it is just loosey-goosey the the fabric is just like everywhere and I constantly have to adjust myself not a big fan so I might end up trying to resell these they do have a logo I forgot to show but the logo is embroidered in all of them so it kind of looks like this and so this is how the mid-rise version looks I am just so much of a bigger fan. I haven't worn these in the water yet, but I think they'll stand in the same way the blue ones did. It does have that same kind of detailing, super cute, and just so supportive and comfortable. I do think these are actually worth the money, especially if you're used to like doing sports in the water. I wouldn't say maybe surfing, but just like beach volleyball or something like that. I don't think it'll give you like crazy weird tans. And just this bandeau style is really in right now. I don't have the biggest um, cup sizes, but I think these would be okay supportive if you are bigger than maybe 
maybe a B. I think up to a C, these would be really comfortable. And I think just on sale, they're a lot cheaper than other places. I know Frankie's is 100 for each piece. So 200 overall for their bikinis and triangle I know is 100 for the set, but I just don't think the quality is as good as these. I had doubts, but I think I've definitely, definitely Okay, liked and so the last one I have is my actual worst purchase yet. I think it was so bad. I did get these on sale, so not that much loss, but I have been trying to just get rid of them. I absolutely hate them. So this is the top version. It is the off the shoulder. I did get a size small. They do come with the um, the pads that you're able to take off and the logo is embroidered and it is such a cute hot pink that I absolutely loved it. And it does come with this top thing, but the problem was that I did order the bottoms. And so they had different styles of the bottoms in the same color. This color is the pink highlight. It was originally $68, I did pay 39. And so I got these as the bottoms. And it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but these are two completely different pinks, even though they were under the same pink highlight color. And I did get a size 10 in these, even though I'm usually a six, because all the reviews said that they were run super, super small, which I think they did. But when no what nobody mentioned was that once you get in the water, they just get super big so i've had to go crazy they do have the tie thing and i had to tie it super tight to actually see if it fits if i did get maybe a size eight i think i would have been fine and i think they would have been a lot more comfortable but i'll show you guys how it looks on together and how it's just two completely different pinks okay and so you can tell it's two different pinks i actually do kind of like the top it is stained slightly for some odd reason even though i've just worn it to the beach maybe once or twice and the bottoms this detailing is really cute if i did get the sizing right i definitely would have liked this a lot more maybe with the black top i think it would have looked really good i did wear the top in the water and i think like swimming and stuff i had no problem it was super supportive i just i don't know like the the color difference really threw me off i thought it was going to be a matching set i thought it was going to be super cute especially because this half shoulder is super in right now and I did get the sizing right for the top one. It was just the bottom really threw me off and I couldn't find anything that matched it. And so that's kind of what happened. But they were both $68 separately, originally priced, $39 on sale each. So it wasn't a huge financial loss, but I don't know if I purchase this kind of style again without trying it in store. I did try the blue ones on in store. And so that's when I knew, try them on, jumped around, saw if everything was good. So these i did order online and i don't think i would do that again i definitely recommend going to the store trying them on especially if you can't return them thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video you can like and subscribe if you have any questions you can leave them down below like i said i am 5'7 and 155 ish pounds i'll try to link all the bikinis that i bought as well as just their names in case you want to purchase them secondhand or whatever but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video like you can like and subscribe i'm going to be trying to make more lulu videos the next one i think i'm going to make is based on bags just because i have so many i have a whole bunch of backpacks and just tote bags and small ones from them so yeah if you like this video like and subscribe and thanks once again